Um, wie ihr seht, sind wir hier auf dem Klettergerüst. <lacht> der Chris, mit zwei Jungs von den Grave Diggers. Uh, we was digging in the Internet. And we found out that in the, in the new source, I think it's in the new source. We don't have it over here yet. There's going to be an article which calls your new LP like the most anticipated LP of this year. You know about this? So what's up with that? It took us, it took us a while. All right, shorty. So it, it, it took us a while to come out with this, this new one. And there's a lot of, lot of things that was happening in between. So it's anticipated because people didn't know if Gravediggers was actually a, just a one, one record group or if we would even still stay together. And even though you don't see Reza here now, we all, we, we all part of one team, one, one mind, one purpose. To make to, to build to hip hop and pay the rent, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's anticipated in that a lot of people supported us over here, over ab abroad, as well as in the states, and that's why uh, the first the first the first video, Dangerous Minds, is not actually a commercial release, but it's more or less Grave Diggers' way of saying, "I right, y'all waited, we're gonna bless you with an extra one." You know what I'm saying? And um, the first commercial release is gonna be the night the earth cried. But Dangerous Minds is more or less the, the for the underground, non-commercial. You know, we won't bless the people that blessed us. I think that, that that's only right. You know, so for those who are anticipating it, it's here, right in your face. Pick the pick, the sickle and the shovel, and my man right here. That's Prince Paul. I tried as a pledge of the side. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to know, on the album, like, of course, who produced it? We know that Prince Paul, who don't want to come up here, uh, produced parts of it, and, and, and RZA produced it. Say what? Okay. So who produced it, and who's on there, like, besides you guys? I'm gonna take a piece and then pass it to my man, Fool Um Vocally, we have uh, two of the first two that were, that, that, two of the originals that were on the first one. We have uh, Killer Priest and we have Shabazz the Disciple. Also from Sons of Man, we have um, Hellraiser. Also from my production and my, my, my camp, we have uh, Omen. Um, I produced three tracks on the album. Fukuon produced three tracks. One, one is on the album and two are soundtracks. Uh, Fourth Disciple produced two tracks. True Master. This is all the Wu Camp. Uh, produced some tracks. Uh, Scott Kinchin produced some tracks. Uh, who else? Doc Kim. This is all within the RZA camp and then RZA himself. This influence. Also, uh, the Ninth Prince from Killer Army is, is on there vocally. Um, <laughs> was wir noch machen, weil es hier doch etwas wackelig ist, wir gehen es nochmal runter. Um, machen uns auf den Weg zurück. Vielleicht noch ein, zwei Fragen. Um, sind aber gleich wieder da. Erstmal natürlich nach wie vor noch ein Video. Und um, bis gleich, würde ich sagen. Ne? Peace. You were just talking about um, the Wu family, like how everything stays in the family. I want to know, since you guys are a member of the Wu family, is there something like a, like a rank in the family? Uh, as far as I know, it's, it's more or less a group of individuals getting together collectively, being of one mind and one purpose. Um, 
when when one of cheese, all the cheese. And the the, the 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 order of rank, I I I, I wouldn't. Uh, I can't speculate on it because as far as grave diggers are concerned, we're all we've all been in this business at least ten years or more. We have a certain veteran status, you know that um. I'm sure, as with anything else, we, we, we learn from each other. And that kind of nullifies rank until it's time to actually go to war. Yeah, that, that, that's what it is. It's more, it's more a veteran status. It's more learning from each other than, than rank, per se. You know, if, if, if somebody specializes in one thing, then he's a specialist in that area. You know that in, in that area, you're gonna go boom. That's you. You know what I'm saying? Where in another area, you might have somebody else doing something, something totally different. Bei letzte Frage wird sein, um, wir haben rausgefunden, dass die Jungs noch allerhand andere Sachen machen. Also neben, neben jetzt Grave Diggers. They, uh, well, you guys, everybody's doing different things at the side too. Like producing a herd. I think you got um, like your clothes brand. Correct. So what don't, what don't, what don't you what don't you tell us about what you're doing besides you know digging graves? Um, besides waking people up mentally from the dead graves, um, I got a production called Black Lords Production. You know, situated in the far east. That's East New York. You know what I'm saying? Where you talk to talk and walk to walk. Besides that, we got um. Their uh, line of clothes, Dig Away International, DWI. Digging while under the influence. You know what I mean? Leave the drugs alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's about to drop. Y'all gonna see some inserts in the album. Y'all get the album. The pick the sick on the shovel. Y'all see a nice little selection of stuff y'all can purchase. Spend some moolah, pesos, dollars, yings, pounds. You know, besides that. You know what I'm saying? The tools. Tools of the trade. Ray diggers. You know what I'm saying? Right there. We got Peach right there. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. I'm about to mock all the German women out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ähm, wir sitzen hier, der Chris will mich vom Dach runterrutschen, schmeißen. Das war unser ähm, Interview, also unser Interview mit Grave Diggers. Wer, also ich habe Spaß gehabt, dem Chris hat glaube ich auch Spaß gemacht, oder? Ja. Mir war ein bisschen warm, so in meiner Jacke, ich hätte vielleicht mal ausziehen sollen bei der Sonne, aber ist auch egal. Ja, wir repräsentieren uns ja. Wie ihr seht, wie ihr vielleicht gesehen habt, habe ich dieselbe Brille an die Fukuon, auch wenn ich in New York für 7 Dollar gekauft habe. Alles geil. Äh, wir sind draußen, guckt nächste Woche wieder World Cup und ähm, tschüss.